We're now just a day away from the new iPhone event. The iPhone 17 series is getting revealed tomorrow by Apple. And as you probably know by now, alongside that, we will also get the RC version of the new iOS 26. Whether you're on the dev beta or the public beta of iOS 26, tomorrow will be the day that Apple will release the RC version. So in this video, I will show you guys a few different things that I believe you must know know about this and what you should do before actually trying to update your device to the new RC version which will be released tomorrow. Now first of all let's talk about the release. Now as I said it will be released tomorrow. That's what has happened in the last few years and most likely this will happen tomorrow as well. So tomorrow will be September the 9th, the day of the new iPhone reveal and the event will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time as of course we have the schedule right here by Apple and once the event is over usually it will take like an hour and 30 minutes maybe two hours once the event is over in a few minutes we should get the RC version released to the public and to the actual public testers and dev testers as well now of course uh, this won't be a huge update it won't bring any big new features and changes most likely there will be some adjustments here and there hopefully improvements on on battery life performance is already great but battery life is not that good hopefully it will improve with the RC version but again just smaller adjustments here and there that's why what we expect from this update but what you should do and what you need to know first of all the size of the update now one thing you probably have noticed while updating to iOS 26 betas is that the betas are actually really big. Now they're around like 10 gigabytes between 9 and 10 gigabytes. Every beta has been like that. But this one will be probably at least double the size. Because once you update from a beta to the RC version, you're actually completely reinstalling iOS on your device, not just updating to a new version. That's why this update will be really big. So you need to make sure that you have enough free storage on your iPhone. So I'm expecting this update to be anywhere between 15 to 20 gigabytes on the devices that do support iOS 26. Of course, it will be different on different devices, but that's what I expect. So what you should do is make sure that you have enough free storage on your iPhone. So head on to your iPhone settings, go to the iPhone storage right here and take a look how much storage you have go ahead and clean some storage if you don't have free storage on your iphone and the easiest thing maybe you can do is just delete one of the apps that is taking a ton of space on your device like facebook right here you can see it is 17 and a half gigabytes that's all documents and data saved by the app i can just go ahead delete this have 17 gigs of free storage and of course once i'm done with the update i can go ahead and reinstall the app and it will be good to go so make sure that you have at least like 25 free gigabytes on your device before trying to install the rc version now another thing you need to do is actually check your update settings now a lot of people have tested iOS 26 during the summer, but they're not actually planning to keep on installing the betas of iOS 26. Most likely very soon we will have the first iOS 26.1 beta. So make sure you go under the software update and after tomorrow, once you have the RC installed on your device, you can just go ahead and go to the beta updates and turn them off right here so you don't get the other betas on your device. That's what you should do, of course, if you don't plan on installing any of the future betas. If you want to do so, then you can just keep the betas on here and you will get iOS 26, the beta one on your device, most likely very, very soon. Now, another thing you need to know and do is that if you update to the RC tomorrow, then you won't get a public release of iOS 26 but don't worry about that it's basically the exact same update if you install the RC that means that you already have the public release that Apple releases to the public there is a chance that there might be a second RC released later in the week most likely not but it has happened before it might happen but again 
you install the R so you're good to go. I don't suggest you wait for the public release. But if you just want to do so, then you can just go ahead and right now turn off the betas. Go here, turn off the betas. That means that you won't get the RC version. But in a week from now, once iOS 26 is released to the public, then you will get the update here and you will be able to actually update your device to the new iOS 26. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are a few little things that I suggest you do and know before you try to update your device to the new RC version of iOS 26. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.